Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Live, right? It's funny, I was, I had to like look at, I thought I had something on my wrist. So I'm like, okay, let me just do another quick wave so I can check in the mirror here. <laughs> anyway, so hi, welcome, welcome. I'm Amy Ferlici. Welcome to a Ferlici Friday. We are going to have some fun as we always do on Facebook Live, right? So today we are going to play with, this is such a cute stamp set. So it's actually a whole suite that we're going to play with. So it's called, um, uh, to market. So hello, Susan. So this is the market goodness stamp set. So fun imagery on here, like you're shopping at like a farmer's market, right? So the cute little like ziggy zaggy, whatever that's called there. Good morning. Good morning. Um, sentiments. We've got a for you. Thanks a bunch. And hello. Hello, Miss Trish and welcome. And then, like I said, lots of kind of fun imagery um, to stamp your produce uh, as if, like you said, you're shopping at a market and then we have the market goodness dies i will turn these like this so you can see the cute little shopping bag right there and then the dies that cut the images out in the stamp set so you can kind of see how everything coordinates right there right and then we also have some designer series paper so the two market designer series paper hello miss philomena welcome i'm glad you guys can all join me today i will show you guys that designer series paper when we flip the camera down because i want to spread it out so you can see all the fun patterns that are on there so yes and actually there are some gems and is there anything else now I have to take a peek in my catalog I'm trying to think if there's anything else um like ribbon is there ribbon in that suite the two market suite nope it looks like so stamp dye designer series paper and then some fun gems called the transparent adhesive backed gems so yes we will have lots of fun playing with that in just a little while in the meantime i want to make sure everybody knows about the sale that we have going on and philomena thank you for the share i appreciate that so much so much love the shares thank you keep on sharing all the way throughout the video truly appreciate that and hello miss sharon welcome welcome so many fun names and faces on facebook live today um so yeah so don't forget all month long we have a sale going on so for example this market goodness uh, bundle stamp and die bundle. So sale is only on stamp with dies, not stamps with punches, stamps with dies, 20% off. So generally bundles are 10% off of the kind of combined price of the stamp and die set. Right now for a couple more weeks, we've got until the end of June, you can get bundles at a 20% savings. Um, and then also the stamp and cut and emboss machines, any of those machines are 10% off as well. So make sure you get one of those. If you don't have one of those yet, when we flip the camera down, we'll be doing some, um, lots of actually die cutting with this fun um, stamp and die set and designer series paper. So you'll be able to check that out too. But just keep that in mind. That sale is going on through the end of this month. If you have any questions on that, please let me know. Um, but it's a great time to uh, get those stamp and die bundles and the die cutting machine if you don't have that yet um, while it's on sale, right? So, and good morning, Sharon. Thank you. Um, so we are just diving right in. I want to, oh, Ha ha! Oh yes! Yay, yay, yay! Susan's saying that she got two orders this week with a bunch of new cardstock and the bundle, so she took advantage of those savings already. Awesome! Congratulations! I'm waiting. I'm waiting for my orders to come in. Um, we did the buy one, get one free event. Um, actually, I'll show you those cards. Yeah, so we did that. It was, it was just last week. It feels like a really long time ago. Um, so I actually went out of town to Boston and Newport, Rhode Island over the weekend. So I think that's why everything like last week seems like it was like weeks and weeks ago because we've been running around um, having a little summer fun. So Boston was awesome. I was there one time in college, really don't remember anything about it. But what a cute, fun, manageable, it's like a a littler big city, I would say. Um, and so I love that. And then Newport, Rhode Island is just this fun kind of, it's not a beachy town. It's like, well, it's right on the water, right? Right on the ocean. So it's just a fun like water side town. So, <laughs> oh, you ordered two of the same bundle. Uh-oh, Susan. 
Um, well, you'll have to find someone that wants to, you'll have to show somebody some cute projects you make with your bundle and entice them that they need that bundle too. And then you can sell them your bundle. How about that? <laughs> uh, so yeah. So anyway, um, buy one, get one free event, new catalog kickoff did that last week on Wednesday. And I want to show you guys, these are the make and takes. Oh, so it's summer and everyone is out. I live right in town. And so people are out walking all over the place. Kids are out of school. And Stormy is just very protective of his house and his neighborhood. And anytime anybody walks by our house, he has to let them know that they should not get too close to the house. So apologize, you'll probably be hearing him. Or maybe somebody's picking an order up off the porch. That's another thing. He likes to make sure <laughs> uh, that everybody knows he's home. <laughs> Uh, oh, oh, I see. Yep. You're going to just trade it in. Perfect. That's what you can do. Exactly. Okay. So here are, these are make and takes. Now I, um, I'm trying to think of where I cased this card from maybe Amy Coenders at stampwithamyk.com. I love, she does such beautiful work. Um, very kind of clean, simple, um, stamping that she does. So I feel like maybe this was a card that I cased from Amy K. So don't want to take credit for it, but sure did love this card. Um, this is, can't remember the name of the bundle right now, but um, some of like the country, maybe the country woods um, designer series paper. It's actually both of them. Um, I had one gal, this was kind of fun, that came to the new catalog kickoff, made this card and loved it. And she said, I want to order everything that I need to make this card at home, so I want to make more of them. So that was kind of fun because she she put a pretty big order then because it's a couple of different packs of designer series paper, the stamp and die bundle that she got at 20% off. Um, these little dies, that is one of the stylish shapes dies. So the butterflies, the linen thread. So yeah, lots of fun, but super cute card. The blends too, we use some fun blends to do the coloring. Um, I don't know that we did anything on the inside. Nope, so that one's blank on the inside. Then this was the other one. So this is the other side of the Mediterranean Bloom designer series paper so if you remember I made a couple of cute boxes with the yes Sharon that's it probably I think that's the right name of the bundle country flowers I'm gonna say yep you've got that one thank you very much for your help with that miss Sharon um, <clears throat> so yeah back to this card this is the other side so this is like all the pretty blues very like Mediterranean tile kind of looking paper which is my shirt, my dress? No, I guess it's more like paisley or something, but you know, I'm, I'm into the blues for sure. Like summer, summer, beautiful shades of blue, right? So this, these though, so what I've decided is I need like a couple packs of this designer series paper because I love all the blues on the one side. And then again, the uh, projects that I made on the last Facebook Live, we use like the oranges and yellows and greens that are all on the other side. Yes, reminds you of old doilies. I can see that, yeah. I can definitely see that. So just a simple, simple card. We use the postage dies on there and then some twine. And again, I don't, yeah, we didn't put anything on the inside of these because I wanted to keep them simple. Um, a lot of times people don't even really do the make and takes at the new catalog kickoff because they're so excited spending all their time shopping from the retired product. So try not to go super crazy on those cards so they can kind of pop in and make them and play with some new stuff and see what's up. Um, but yeah, have lots of fun at that new catalog kickoff. Um, that was last week on Wednesday. Like I said, it feels like a really long time ago, but it really wasn't that long ago. Um, okay, so we're going to do our first drawing. We've got names in the basket here as usual. If you shared our last Facebook Live video, one entry. If you shared it to a paper crafting group that you're a part of, you got five entries in the basket right here. If you sign up for my email list, you got an entry in the drawing. Um, I picked one random post here on our Facebook group. So comment away, because you never know which post I'm gonna pick. Um, and anybody that commented on that random post, your name is in here. And then also, if you shared pictures um, of projects that you've made. So Miss Deb Northrup has been great at sharing her projects lately. So she's got a number of entries in here as well. So I think that's it, all the ways, oh, what do you what, what are you gonna win? Let me show you. So my order, my orders are coming in this afternoon. That'll probably be what I'll, the other thing that happens is the UPS man will be here with my orders, and so Stampy or Stampy Stampy Stormy <laughs> will make sure to let us know that those are here. In the meantime, <laughs> I promise I'll give you a full pack. Is this right? Is this what I'm giving away? Oh no, 
Hold on, that's the wrong thing. Over here. <clears throat> I'm giving away today. This is the package of the 2023-2025 in color opaque sparkle dots. And again, there's one that's missing that's in my little <laughs> thingy. I can see it here. I'll give you a full unopened pack as soon as it arrives this afternoon. You will be getting that once I draw your name. So let's see who's going to win. Who is going to win? Let's see. Let's see. Tossing these names around. I always, they get stuck together and I got to make sure they're all separated. Okay. So I have one name in my hand. <laughs> Miss Deb Northrup. I was saying she was good at sharing. So she has a number of entries right here in this basket. So Miss Deb, as soon as these, um, in color opaque sparkle dots are here. I'll put them out on the porch for you to pick up. So thank you very much for your comments and your shares of projects, Miss Deb. Okay, let's see, hold on, I gotta dump these. We'll put those right in there. Okay, now I gotta get ready for our next drawing. Okay, so on our next Facebook Live, <clears throat> excuse me, which is going to be two weeks from today. So if today is the 12, 14, so June 26th. Hold on, I need a sip of water. Miss mm -hmm. mm. Jen Ledley, hello and welcome. Is school out? Do you get to do fun things now for summertime? Um, hopefully that's the case, that school is out for the summer, right? So thank you for joining us. Okay, so on our next Facebook Live, which is gonna be again two weeks from today on June 26th, if you share this video right here, one entry, share it to a paper grafting group that you're a part of, five entries, sign up for my email list, comment on a random post that I pick, your name goes in the drawing, or share a project, something that you have made, your name will go in the drawing to win. These are the purple, yes, these are the purple fine shimmer gems you could win these on our next Facebook Live. So, and congratulations, Miss Jen. I'm glad school is out for the summer. Um, what else, what else? Oh, I wanna give a warm welcome. We had one last Inkspired Stamper that joined us. So our last Facebook Live was on May 31st. And I think um, I checked my reports, <coughs> excuse me, on May 30th when I prepared for Facebook Live last time. Um, anyway, I'm <coughs> sorry. <coughs> I have this unexpected tickle in my throat. Mm -hmm. Now I'm like, oh, do I need a mint? Well, I've got a mint handy here. Okay, maybe I will just take. I know, I love those purple gems too. <coughs> I'm thrilled that the Lavender Designer Series paper is still available. Okay, hold on. i to have this mint. Sorry, now I'm going to be talking like I have a mint in my mouth, but... That's gonna help me make sure that I don't cough for the rest of Facebook Live. Okay, so what was I talking about? Oh, <laughs> welcome. I wanna give a warm welcome to Miss Jill Alba. So she bought the starter kit again on May 31st, probably maybe even as we were doing Facebook Live. So I didn't get to um, give a shout out and congratulations to her. This looks funny now, doesn't it? I'm gonna like sit like this. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, she bought that awesome starter kit deal with the in colors. Um, so yeah, she is a part of our Inspired Stampers team and got that awesome starter kit deal. So congratulations and welcome to Jill. And thank you, you ladies are always so gracious about congratulating and welcoming others. Um, mm, okay, so I showed you. Oh, that's what else I wanted to mention. <coughs> Excuse me. So I have a bunch of stamp sets and punches, retired stamp sets and punches that I have left over from my new catalog kickoff and buy one get one free event. I took pictures. Now I will tell you they're like in rows. So I stack up. So if, if these are stamp sets, I might kind of stack them. So they're kind of all like on a table. So all you really see are the names of them, but I took pictures kind of of groups of stamp sets and then also punches. Um, put them all away in my boxes at the church where I hold my events. Um, and so they're kind of, there's still like a bunch that is available. So I'm not actually going to put them like what I've done before is I'll literally take a picture of every single stamp set. So if I have 200 stamp sets, I'm taking 200 pictures and uploading 200 pictures. So I decided I'm just going to take kind of pictures of them stacked up in groups. Um, 
So anyway, if anybody's interested, if you're long distance or if you just weren't able to make it to the new catalog kickoff and buy one, get one free event, if you want to see those pictures, I can email them to you. Um, I'm not really posting them out there, although I guess maybe I could. Maybe I could post them right here on our Facebook group. I have to think about that. But anyway, in the meantime, if you're interested in shopping from the buy one, get one free sale, I can email pictures of, I have stamp sets and punches. So that's it. That's all I took pictures of everything. So Susan, interested. Okay, will you email me and just tell me that? Um, just say, will you please send me pictures of your stamp sets and punches? Um, and so we'll do the buy one, get one free, um, <clears throat> just like I always do. So this is how it works, like for online. I'll give you a host code, which is actually the host code that you'll get right here um, on this Facebook Live too. It's also on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. But anyway, so you'll shop from the retired product, whatever value of retired product you end up with. So if you end up with $50 in retired product, then what you do then is you go on to stampinup.com, shop using the host code, order $50 in product, you still pay the shipping and the sales tax on that product and then I will ship out your retired product to you. You do also pay the shipping on that retired product or if you're local, I'll just put it on the porch and then we avoid the shipping fees. So that's how that works. If you're interested, let me know, okay? Um, <clears throat> all right, I think, yeah, we're gonna do our other drawing now, okay? so. If you ordered online through me, which I had a number of online orders, so thank you, ladies. I've been over here, like, you know, crying my little tears, like, no one's ordering, and I'm not sure what's going on. Um, so thank you. I had a, a couple of online orders in the last couple of weeks, so thank you very much for those online orders. So your name is now in this basket. Yep, I'm going to make sure. Okay, so also you automatically are going to receive both of these projects that i demonstrated on our last facebook live as a thank you from me you also get to pack from the demo design dream team pdf tutorial featuring this fun card right here um you can pick the 16 project pdf tutorial you can see like whoa lots of info and details and pictures in there or if you don't want the pdf tutorial this is what I was gonna show earlier. <laughs> you can pick, and I'll promise, I'll give you a full package. These are called the adhesive backed dots for days. So you can see those right there. This is the free embellishment for June. This is what you could get as well. And then your name is also in the drawing to win. And again, this is on the UPS truck coming this afternoon. Um, this Happiest Days stamp set. Okay, so that's what we're gonna draw for right now. Isn't that such a cute stamp set? The Happiest Days stamp set. So, <clears throat> okay, shaking the names around. We have one lucky winner. Okay, who's it going to be? Let me open this up. Ah, Miss Monica Taube. All right, congratulations, Monica. Rosa, hello and welcome. So Monica, as soon as that comes in, I will get it shipped out to you along with the project and um, the, well, yeah, the projects that I made. And then you need to let me know if you want the free embellishment or the PDF tutorial, okay? All right, so let's see what I want to do. I'm going to put that right there. This is going to go down here. Okay, so on our next Facebook Live, two weeks from today, once again, and you guys know this, right? I mentioned this last time, wanna make sure that you know. So Thursday night before Friday, Facebook Live, whether I have it or not, I always post Thursday night and let you know if I'm gonna be live the next day on Friday or if it's gonna be the following week. Um, so if you're ever wondering, is this the week she's doing it or not? Because I know it gets a little like, is this the Friday or not the Friday? So just check out our Facebook group right here, Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio. You'll see a post on there that says, I'm either gonna be live this week, so tomorrow, or I'm gonna be live that next Friday, okay? So you never have to wonder. So on our next Facebook Live, if you order through me using the host code, that I'm gonna give you when we flip this camera down. There it is, I'm like, where's my? <laughs> Your name will go in the drawing to win. This is the beautiful, thoughtful journey, right? That's the name of it, isn't it? Yeah, I second guessed myself as I was saying it. The Thoughtful Journey Designer Series paper. So this is like a sample from a paper share and then this is the full pack of paper. This is what you could win. This is what it looks like. So there's front and back side 
gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous paper. I still have paper shares left too. Not really talking about it so much anymore because you guys are kind of tired of hearing about it, but <clears throat> I do have paper shares left. So if you're interested, let me know. I can still get a paper share sent out to you, okay? So that's what you could win if you order through me. Um, yeah, starting right now through um, next, well, it's two weeks from Wednesday, the 26th of June. Okay, so let's see. Here we go. Did I? Yeah, I did show those too, right? I just love these. I have to show you guys one more time. So again, anybody that ordered um, gets these projects that I demonstrated on our last. Oh, okay. Sounds good, Philomena. I've got you down for a paper share. Awesome, awesome. But I just love, oh my gosh, I love making those cute little treat boxes. So I had to share those again because I just think they're so pretty, pretty. Okay, so let's see here. I think we can... Trying to get organized, <laughs> right? What's new? What's new? Um, yeah, okay, so I'm going to show you the paper and we're going to do the demonstrations. Okay, <clears throat> and we need these things too, though. Where did the paper go? No, oh, no, all right, that didn't affect you guys, did it? Okay, oh, it's underneath there. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm trying to make sure I'm, you know, ready for the next thing. Okay, so here. We are gonna flip the camera down. So, turn your heads away, right? I always say this, we're flying through the air. Okay, rotate, there. Okay, oh, that was weird. It like blacked out for a sec, like I turned it off. Okay, and it's summertime. Oops, so now we got the fan going. This is, let me get this fixed up here, right? Okay, oop, that's so weird. It's like, it, it's acting like it's too heavy. Hold on, I gotta use my shoulder for a sec here. That probably looks weird, doesn't it? That one. Maybe it's that side. Okay. All right. Sorry. I hope your heads were turned away because you probably got a little seasick there. <laughs> okay. So here's our host code for the month, okay? <clears throat> there we go. So the WS93Z6QK. If you want to shop from the Buy One Get One Free event, or if you um, just want to order online and get all the freebies from Facebook Live stuff, that's the host code you want to use. Okay, so let me show you. This is the two market designer series paper. So this is what we're going to use on our projects today. So lots of beautiful, deep um, tones. So I think there's real red, pumpkin pie, blackberry bliss, Garden green, there's some pecan pie in there. So isn't this, can you guys kind of get an idea, right? So that's one side. This is one of my favorite patterns, the pretty little flowers, right? And then here's the back side too. So some kind of awesome like neutral. So these are my favorites. These two, you're gonna see these on our projects today. I love like the, the kind of gingham plaid, but there's some kind of wood green paper right there. Anna, hello and welcome. Some pretty little flowers there and some polka dots. So I can see some good uses for like masculine cards also, maybe for Father's Day. You could whip a Father's Day card out real quick for Sunday Father's Day, right? Okay, so that is the designer series paper. We're gonna play with that today. And let me show you our first project. Okay, so here is our first little thanks a bunch card. So if you can see, this is actually designer series paper. <laughs> yes, Anna, you're right. Happy summertime. I know. So excited that summer is here for us, right, in Michigan. And it feels like it too, doesn't it? We kind of jumped right in. Loving, loving, loving. Um, okay, Susan, what are you saying? Credit card. Let's see. I'm going to have to see that. Huh. Oh, thank you, Philomena. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I'm like trying to read the comments. Okay, so yes, yeah, so this, if you get really close there, right? So I did not stamp this, although you could do some version of this because I think there are stamps of all those things. We're actually going to die cut that paper out with the dies that are in the matching die set and then that cute little thanks a bunch um and then on the inside i had to stamp because i love that little i don't know what is it like rick rack or something so okay and then of course like i said i had to use that designer series paper there one of my favorite patterns okay so let's get things out here 
ready to go. All right, so let me tell you about measurements, first of all. So we're gonna start, just get this guy out of the way. Actually, I should do a double check, right? Can you guys see? Move this up a little bit. There, I think you guys can see well enough, right? So down here along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches, okay? Half a sheet of Blackberry Bliss cardstock. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored at four and a quarter inches. So our very standard. Okay, good. I'm glad you can see. Thank you, Susan. Okay, then we have our to market such cute paper right like all the fun little shopping bags so that is similar to the die and then they've got some other and then all the little recycle things love that thank you stampin up for being conscientious about that even on our designer series paper so this one measures five and a quarter by four inches that's going to go right there then again we have another piece of this is basic white same size five and sorry five and a quarter by four inches that goes on the inside of our card, right? Then I think we have basically scraps that we're gonna stamp our sentiment, and then we're gonna do some die cutting, and then here I'll show you. So this is, oops, so I already actually die cut this. So on the back of this paper, this is one of the barrels that was, it was probably like a right there actually. So I already just use my paper snips, just snip that right out very quick, simple and easy, and then, here is our produce. And so what I am going to do when we go to die cut this, I'm going to kind of snip around each of these because it's so much easier to move an individual piece of paper if the die isn't staying on there. Um, yeah, and then just some basic white for the stamping and die cutting. Used a little, so these are little flowers too. So we're going to use real red and peach pie cardstock for the little flowers that I just added on the basket in the bottom of the card there. Okay. So let's see, first of all, let's just do our stamping and we'll have that kind of done and out of the way. Okay, so we're gonna just move that house coat out of the way for a sec. I do want to use this little guy right here for my little Rick Rack piece that's gonna go on the inside here. So if I kind of go off the edge, I know you can kind of clean that off of what is this the stampin glass mat that oh i'm supposed to remember to tell you guys about that too so the stampin glass mat is going to be available to order so if you are a demonstrator you can order this now it's, it's a part of our pre-order with the other online exclusives if you're not a demonstrator starting july 3rd you can order the stampin glass mat studio the other thing if you're not a demonstrator, if you want to buy the starter kit, you could get the Stampin' Glass Mat Studio in the starter kit too. So something to think about there. So yay, yay, yay. I know people were very excited that that is back in stock and available now. Okay, so we're going to just scoot this stuff out of the way. Then I also want to stamp our thanks a bunch. So I used, that was Blackberry Bliss ink because it matches our cardstock and designer series paper. And then we're gonna use this little thanks a bunch in pumpkin pie, because that works with, right, with the other colors in there as well. Okay, so we're gonna just put that over there. All right, let's clean these things. I'm gonna scoot that up there too. So let's just clean these stamps because I'm gonna pop them back in my little case, okay. You guys have a chamois, right? One of the most essential tools in your stamping tool repertoire, I would say. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Also, die cutting and embossing machine. 10% off on this baby right here. If you don't have one yet, now's the time to get one. Um, let's see, I do have scissors, right? Okay. So I'm gonna just trim this down. We're gonna lay that on there. You know what, maybe we'll do a couple of, here, we'll go this way. Let's do these first. Kind of get these done. That one and that one. Let's see if I have room for all of these on here. Okay. Well, I'm only gonna be able to do one set of those anyway, aren't I? I'm trying to remember how the dies come. Okay, where's the stamp and die set? Over here. All right, so again, oops, these are the dies. 
So we're going to use those little flowers right there. And then we're going to come back and use a bunch of the other dies to cut the paper out. So, okay, we're going to put that right there. Then I want to also show you guys. So from these are the stylish shapes dies. We're going to use the largest circle. It's just what we're going to put everything on. Okay. And then this is a label from, these are like the leaf dies, the, the autumn leaves dies. We're just going to use that label. Kind of forgot about that one. And it's a great like classic um, little die there. It's got the stitching on it too, if you can see, right? It's got, so I like that, that it coordinated the stitching on that die works with the stitching on those. So again, autumn leaves here and then stylish shapes here. Okay, so let's do this. We got a little bit of die cutting we're doing on this one. Okay. Crank this through. <clears throat> okay, so again, there's that die. And then we've got our circle as well with more stitching on there. Okay, and then let's see if these came out. Yay, they did. Okay, now to not lose those little guys. Whoa, that's gonna be... <laughs> That's gonna be a task for me, I think. I'm gonna to try to, I've got my little silicone mat here, so I'm gonna to try to put these on. I'm gonna flip them upside down so they'll be all ready to put adhesive on. I'm just gonna lay that right over there and I'm gonna hope and pray <laughs> that I don't lose those little babies. Okay, now let's crank this back through. We are gonna put that one on there. Okay, now I wanna cut these little things out, right? So we're going to do that one, do that one, that one, and that one. Okay, there we go. So now let's grab our dies. Oops. So isn't that cute? The little flowers on the backside there. Tomatoes right there. Okay, so let's just get these here. Okay, so I need my dies. So I've got, that's for my carrots. It's from my lettuce. Okay, what is this one? There we go. Got some tomatoes and then an onion here. Okay, all right, so now the trick is to get these lined up and then not bump them, right? Okay, we got that one. And again, if you have a magnetic plate, which I haven't heard anything about when we're going to get a new, I'm sure they're working on it. I hope anyway, right? Because I sure do love mine. Um, but you just have to move the paper. If the die is being futsy and it keeps moving on you, I always say you can't fight the magnetic field. You just need to move your die or move your paper because the die is going to fling wherever it wants to. So this just takes a sec to kind of get things lined up on here. Play a little like sing song or something, right? I think I might have just moved the, the other. Let's see. That look all right. We're going to move that one. This one doesn't. Yeah, there we go. Although that's that's interesting, right? Okay, I think that's it. All right. Everything looks good. <clears throat> I'm going to put the top plate on, crank our handle here. And Miss Tracy, hello. Welcome, welcome. Okay, let's see what we've got here, right? Okay, yay. Okay, that one cut perfectly. There's our lettuce. Maybe I, I won't show you. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, I won't show you up close if I didn't do the greatest job, but we'll be able to kind of bury that in somehow. So you won't really even know that it's a little off. That one probably moved a little bit on me. I'm thinking. Okay, let's see. What else do we have? We've got some carrots. Cute, cute, cute. Our little onion. And then you guys, what is this? Is this another, is it like a, what is that? <laughs> not sure. It's not a, I don't think it's a red, maybe, mm, oh, maybe it's a radish. That's what I'm thinking. It's a radish. Okay, That's what we're going to say it is anyway. I don't know. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Okay. So, and then we've got those little babies right there. Okay. That one stayed in there. There we go. Okay. And then again, those little flowers, I'm going to pick those up and put them kind of upside down on my little 
silicone mat there. Okay, I think we gotta make sure we don't lose that little guy too. All right, top cladding plate. Okay, I'm gonna scoot this back over here for now. And let's bring our card back into view and we can start putting things together. So let's just put this piece on the inside right now. Okay. So run it and tip it back. I haven't said that in a while, have I? I know people were saying that they're kind of got some ladies that come to classes that are a little bit frustrated with their... <laughs> Thank you. I was right. I appreciate that, Miss Susan Radish. Um, but a little frustrated with their stamp and seal. Run it and tip it back. Run it and tip it back. That's the best advice that I can give you. Um, to help make it stay on there. <clears throat> now we have, what is this? This is the natural polka dot trim. Such cute ribbon. This has been on my crafting table for quite a while now. I've been trying to figure out like when and how I can use it. And I finally was like, oh, it's going to be perfect on this card right here. So I'm just kind of running it across here. I'm going to make sure it's down there tight, and then we're just going to kind of trim it off. So there is that, right? Next, we are going to put some dimensionals on the back of our circle. So we'll do one there, one there. Okay. <clears throat> and then we're going to build our little basket. Right? So let's see. I'm trying to to get this we're gonna put that one right there and how about our let's do our little thanks a bunch too put that one on here also so we're gonna pop that sentiment up on some dimensionals as well oh this is just so cute right okay maybe we'll put that i don't know right about there we'll say okay now let's see we've got these little guys we've got this so i think i did i was trying to remember yep i put everything on dimensionals so I know what I did though. Okay, so I added, we're gonna scoot these guys over just a touch. Okay. <clears throat> I added some adhesive actually on the front of all of these people, people, <laughs> on the front of all of, hello, Mr. Michael, how are you? Thanks for joining us. We're just making a cute vegetable basket right now. We're going to the market. Okay, so. Let's see, we've got, I'm going to kind of put my lettuce. So I just kind of put adhesive along the bottom of everything and then I'm gonna kind of build. And I wanna tuck that part there that I didn't cut quite so well. We're gonna tuck that back in there a little bit. And we're gonna add our carrots maybe right in there. And what did we decide? That's a radish, right? I want that to kind of show and then we'll just pop our little onion, so you might have to kind of lift up a little bit, but we're gonna kind of just get that guy tucked right inside there. Okay, so I think that looks good, right? So we're gonna make sure that's all. Vina, hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Then we're gonna just kind of randomly put a few dimensionals back here to kind of also maybe hold all of this stuff in place is my thought. So there's the back side of that paper. And then again, our cute little veggie basket, right? Okay, so we've got that right there. Then we got a couple more little last steps to go, right? Okay, so again, make sure you are using, did that get flipped over? I think that's the, yeah. Um, make sure you're using this little silicone mat because these babies are teeny tiny, right? And you don't want to get adhesive all over places that you don't want your adhesive. Okay, so we're going to put that one on there. Just need a little bit of adhesive really on these guys. Put these cute little flowers right on our basket. And then a couple, oops, I thought I put that one on the basket already. Whoops, it jumped off. Well, let's see. <clears throat> I have a little tiny bit of adhesive right there on my finger. So I'm gonna do that, I got that, and then we're gonna put that right there, and then one more little, oops, upside down. <laughs> there we go, there's that. Okay, 
one last, well, actually two last steps we have here, right? <clears throat> so, and I don't know what happened here with my twine. I think somebody couldn't find the beginning of it, so they made a new beginning, which is fine. It all works out, but <laughs> like got a lot of starts and stops on things. So we're going to do a double bow, okay? So I just looped that over, and then we're going to tie a bow with our linen thread, okay? So we've got that right there. We need some scissors. Okay, got that and that. And then we need a little mini glue dot. Let's grab one of these babies. Okay. This thing right here, we're going to do a little bow on the corner there of our thanks a bunch, right? And then last step. Okay, good. I do have my dots right here. So we're going to just add a couple of these little. So these are the transparent adhesive backed dots. So I'm going to use a couple of these garden green ones. It's going to put, oops, put one right there. We're going to do one right there. And I think I, it's funny, people are like, oh, you got to do them in threes. Well, I think this time I'm only doing it in twos. Just got those couple, I'm because I'm like searching. Did I put another one on here? I don't think I did. <laughs> so there we go. You got your cute little thanks a bunch with your little, your bunch or basket of veggies there, right? Okay, so there's project number one, again, with the two market suite featuring the market goodness stamp set. So we use that little Rick rack. And then our thanks a bunch you, but again, you could stamp all of those images if you didn't want to die cut them out of the paper. You can kind of go either way on that, okay? All right, let's see. Where am I? We're going to put these back in here. I think we're going to use these on the next card, so keep that right here. Okay, so next project. What do we have going on here? We have another fun, so I told you guys, those were my favorite patterns in the paper pack, right? So I used this garden green plaid as well, right? Okay, and I actually didn't do anything on the inside. We could do something fun on the inside of that one too, right? And so I actually designed this card first, and so I used that ribbon um, on there as well. And now I'm trying to decide if maybe, I think I might try to put a strip of this black and vanilla um, kind of gingham ribbon. I might do that instead of do using two different ribbons. We'll see once we get to that point. I've kind of been waffling on what do I want to do about that? So we'll see on that one. Okay. All right. So here we go. I want to show you guys these things. So again, let me tell you about some measurements. So this is Basic white cardstock. Thank you, Philomena. I'm glad you guys and Miss Vina. I'm glad you guys are enjoying these cards. Okay, so we have thick basic white cardstock, 11 inch side, same as last card. Cut it at five and a half, eight and a half inch side. Score it at four and a quarter inches, right? So all the halfway points. So there's our card base. Again, designer series paper. Oh, okay, so actually this is fun, right? So this is what I did. I already fussy cut. You guys can see the little bunches of flowers. I fussy cut a couple of those with my snips already. Very simple. You just kind of work right around there. I'll show you because we're going to fussy cut this little basket that came out of that other designer series paper. This piece measures five and a quarter by four inches. I'm going to go right on the outside there. Then Pecan pie cardstock. Oh, I always like to remind you, especially if you're new to Facebook Live, all of the measurements, colors, item, product numbers, everything that you need to know to order and recreate these projects will be on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com this afternoon. Okay, so pecan pie three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And then this is more of the two market designer series paper. You can see the pretty fun tomatoes and that cute little, just kind of a little pattern on there. This measures three and a half by three and a half. Okay. So we're going to layer all these on here. So the only thing I really, well, I got to do some stamping and then I just have a strip, a half inch, um, tall or wide strip of basic white cardstock. So let's do, I want to show you guys how easy when you use your paper snips. So you, you kind of cut, but you kind of just, um, turn the paper as you're cutting too. So can you see how am I? I'm so intent. This is what happens though. I get so intent on watching what I'm doing that I'm not sure 
that you guys can actually see, right? But I'm just kind of, so cutting along here, and it doesn't have to be perfect, but I like to use, leave a little white edge all the way around there as well, right? Okay, so there's our little basket that we're gonna put our things in. And let's see, let's do this. So we've got our little sentiment that says, bursting with happiness, right? With our bunches of flowers. Okay, so I actually brought a few of these over. Okay, that doesn't, mm, it doesn't look too bad, although, let's see, it's almost like there's fuzzies or something. Let's see. Let's try this one more time. Yeah, that looks better. Yeah, so this is what I'm talking about. I don't know if you guys could see that before, but it's like there were little fuzzies on my stamp or something, so that one looks more crisp. So we're gonna go with that one, but... <laughs> just in case it didn't go well, I brought a few extra. <laughs> so that wasn't too bad, I'd say. All right, so let's clean. Can we clean? I don't know where it is. All right, we're not gonna worry about cleaning. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, we will worry about cleaning, especially that Blackberry Bliss ink, right? You don't wanna get that all over everything. That would not be good, right? Not good at all. Okay, so let's see. We are, I think we're about ready to put this card together too. So we've, we're just going to cut this at a little angle there and trim that down there. All right, so those are all good and this and this. Okay, I think we'll see if I'm forgetting. Oh, I know what I want to do though. Okay, so I have this little strip that was like, I have a little dish that I always put like leftover pieces in. So we're going to just do this. This is like a little leftover piece. I'm going to kind of measure. Yep, that looks about right. Okay, so let's try this. And you guys vote and tell me which one do you like better with that polka dot, um, the natural polka dot trim on the back. I just knew I wanted to use it, and then I was like, oh, I use it on this one, and then I use it on the next one. I'm like, oh, well, maybe, um, maybe I didn't need it on this one. But I made this one first, if that makes sense. So I was kind of intent on using it there, but we'll see. Okay, so then we are going to, sorry, I'm probably like rambling. You guys are like, what is she even talking about, right? <laughs> you know, in my own little world, I always say, it's a really nice place to be. This is my own little world of mine. <laughs> okay, gonna add some dimensionals on the back of this guy. Okay, flip those guys off. Okay, <laughs> good, you're crying too, huh? Uh-huh, there we go. Thanks, Susan. <laughs> okay, the other thing that I did was I kind of, um, I kind of wanted them to look like they were, uh, I don't know, real flowers. So I kind of squinched them up a little bit just to give them you know, you can just like rumple them, you know, just crinkle it all up and then pull it apart. So I didn't go quite that far, but I wanted them to look kind of real is what I was thinking. So, all right, we are going to just put, where's my silicone mat? We're going to use this again, right? I just want to put some adhesive on this and this, and then actually on the back of this guy we're going to do some adhesive there, right? Okay, so we have our little basket and I wanted to, I don't know why, I was like really loving like the little twine kind of, um, you know, wrapped around there. So I wanted you to be able to see that. So I had to kind of do it like that, right? Okay, so let's, I'm actually gonna pop this up on dimensionals. One there and one there and one there. One there. Okay, that looks good, right? All right, so we've got this one. Oops, dimensionals are sticking, but I think we should be okay. All right, so we've got this. It's going to go right here, right? We're going to add our little bursting with happiness. See, what's funny is I don't know why I just really like the little twine wrap there, but then I'm like, that's about where I want to put my sentiment maybe i'll maybe i'll put it like right yeah i don't know we'll just put it kind of right about there okay that's fine 
then we are going to tie our little bow. I was trying to like, oh, maybe it covers up the ribbon too much, but um, that's okay. It's going to put this fun bow on here. So that's just a nice little background kind of thing. So hello, Miss Debbie Green, and welcome. Thanks for hanging out with us this afternoon. And thank you for the share. Go ahead and do that, ladies. If you haven't done that already, make sure you share this video for your chance to win those purple fine shimmer gems. Okay. It's a beautiful day here in Michigan, Miss Deb, isn't it? Okay, we're gonna put that right there. Yeah, you know what? I'm feeling like maybe I am like in the um, the same ribbon kind of throughout there. Uh, we are going to finish this off with my gems that are right here. And let's see, this time we're going to use these. I'm going to say are the Blackberry Bliss gems. So we're going to just add a couple of these babies right there and there. And then one more little baby can go right in there. And there we have it, ladies. What do you guys think? <laughs> yes, it is going to be a beautiful day, isn't it? And we're bursting with happiness because of our beautiful, sunshiny weather here in Michigan today. Yes. Okay. Oh, and then also, okay, tell me, which one do you like better? The one with this little polka dot natural trim or so then it's two different ribbons, right? That's why I don't know if it's kind of bugging me that it's two different ribbons or this one has the same the vanilla and black kind of gingham ribbon. So let me know which one you like better. I'm curious to see if maybe that's like a kind of an anal thing for me and it doesn't bother you. <laughs> Who knows, right? Okay, so quick recap, as always, especially if you haven't watched me on Facebook Live before, need to make sure you know this. If you order online through me, you're gonna get one of each of these projects as a thank you from me. Your name is gonna go in the drawing to win that gorgeous, thoughtful expressions designer series paper. And then you also get to pick from the free embellishment for June, which are these fun dots or the demo design dream team PDF. It's a 16 project tutorial. So lots of good stuff. Love to say thank you and get this fun free stuff sent out to you. Make sure you use, this is the host code right here. This WS93Z6QK. All right. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I hope you have a fabulous summer weekend. And yeah, we'll see you back here in two weeks. And happy Father's Day to all the fathers in your lives. And we will see you soon, two weeks from now. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.